Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast this morning. The Chief of Defence Staff, Loki Irabo, says there is evidence that Nigerian soldiers are colluding with bandits and terrorists to wreak havoc on the country. What's the way forward? Also on The Breakfast, as unending concerns for zoning continues, dominant political parties remain silent on regional shift. Will power ship to the south in 2023? And don't forget, we will also be looking through today's newspapers and analyzing the biggest stories of the day. Thanks for staying with us. This is The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonia. And I am Messia Bokos. Good to have you join us this morning. Like always, we always like to talk trending. A whole lot of stories are making the rounds. Um, let's start with uh, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. And uh, from what we hear, the agency has actually uncovered Messi, a 22 billionaire was of Tramadol. You know, it is no longer news that uh, Tramadol are no longer, you know, legal to be sold over the counter. But uh, I don't know, there seems to be this unending, you know, thing of uh, drug barons and uh, bringing all those drugs, some of them illicit, somehow they just find their way back into the country. Yeah, but most, um, if you want to say interesting, is the fact that, you know, Ava Carey has been linked to yes. this particular. Um, uh, I mean, discovery, if you like to put, and um, that's quite worrisome. And uh, not forgetting the fact that he, over time, has been described as that super uh, corp. But the question here is, what happens after now? Would he be charged to court now? Though, I mean, it's just natural that we charge him to court and let you know um, the entire process begin. But even if that happens what will be the end of it. Some people have predicted that. So you get a time where he's been charged to court and then he's going to have a date in court. And afterwards, uh, there probably would be no headway. You know, the case would just linger. And he, he lingers for a while. And apparently, somehow, somewhere, maybe there might just be something that would happen. And then he would probably would be granted, you know, some kind of pardon. But uh, it just shows you that um, no one is saying that you have a perfect system entirely in the world, but we're saying that we need to have structures. And so uh, we need to put a foot down. There are a lot of conspiracy theories and uh, insinuation out there saying that there might just be a lot of persons who are really involved. I mean, very, very strong persons who probably might be using government influence and structure to peddle drugs in our country. And uh, some persons have felt very disappointed with the fact that Abba Kiari has been linked to this, uh, you know, the, the, this uh, tramadol trafficking. We're talking about 22 billion worth of it. Mm. Yeah, that, that's some large seizure. And um, it is really, really very, very uh, embarrassing that such um, Thing like the, such a thing like this is happening uh, in the wake of um, you know the extradition calls uh, for him to be extradited to the United States to face uh, you know charges, and uh, we see by the day that more revelations are being actually made. There. But um, of investigations reveal that he's been a major importer of large consignments of different brands and high dosages of tramadol, ranging from 120 milligrams to 200. Uh, 225 and 250, all of which are illicit. It really shows um, that um, we are really, really not heading the right way when those who are supposed to be enforcing the law are actually the ones who are breaking all of these laws. And that's what it is. But we hope that uh, the needful will be done. Uh, we hope that all of the conspiracy theories uh, d does not become our reality. Mm. So we'll just let that one go. And uh, let's uh, move on next. Uh, the Christian Association of Nigeria can is actually dissociating itself from a pastor who is actually offering, is it about 310,000 um, naira, you know, for people who are interested uh, uh, in getting to heaven, something like um, a ticket to heaven. I wonder how that works. So, but then the, the Christian Association of Nigeria can came out to say that um, it is in no way, you know, associated in any of those claims. I wonder how or 
it is funny. At the end of the day, I wonder how people would actually just believe logically that someone could actually give you a ticket to heaven if you just paid money. What sense does that even make at all? So uh, this is actually coming after you already have the incident. Of course, you expect that there should be some reaction because the uh, the pastor involved, I mean, Ade Abraham, was resident in Kaduna at the time. He lived in Kaduna up until uh, the 2000s when he relocated, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he relocated to Ikiti State, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's just very apt. But let's even stay with the... Uh, disclaimer that's been put by Khan in Kiduna saying we do not recognize, I mean we, we, we have not, we have nothing to do with this pastor uh, there's no face that can be placed to to him, you can't really identify his congregation, where he's located, his location. As a matter of fact, they are even saying anyone with useful information as to where he's located or where he can be found should make that available. So um, there could just be a collaboration with the church or the body and security personnel because uh, all that's going on. But it, it, it's very interesting. I mean, I don't know if you've actually seen the video. So he promised, he promised this um, church members. I don't know how to put it his church members. And he told them now he was based in Kaduna, relocated to Ikiti. And afterwards he will return. He went back and told them that he was going to take them to you know, say place where get them pre prepared for rapture or, you know, going to make heaven. And so there's a place that has been camped. I mean, these Christians have been camped. I unfortunately weren't able to put out that video you know, to show you all of that. But it just brings us back to the fact that Nigerians, some Nigerians are gullible. Very, and very so gullible. religion over time, I, I don't want to say religion, you know, it's bad, but I, I just think that how we follow religion. So some persons have decided to even believe their pastors more than the Bible itself. And so whatever the pastors say, without even running that through the scripture, if you say you're a Christian, so everybody just get to worship and then it's it's quite interesting to also note that even members of this church have also spoken to their children. So for instance, there's also a WhatsApp uh, message or conversation that's also in public space that talks about uh, a certain member telling their, you know, telling her child or his child to come back to Nigeria because he needs to come back so they can go to heaven. And he, if, if she doesn't come back, there's a tendency that um, she, she might just face that destruction because the pastor will go ahead to ensure, I mean, the pastor actually said that. It's a chat. I saw the chat and said, uh, you, you will actually commit a crime and you will be sentenced to prison where you are. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> I really, it's no, just, no. Just, How just, do we do all, very, even if you're going to go to heaven, do you have to pay? It's as if you're bribing your way to heaven. Uh, is that what it's not even that, but let's even look at So we constantly say that for those who follow Jesus, I mean, if you say you're a Christian, you should understand the tenets. And if you look at Jesus and follow his antecedent, you will understand that everywhere he went, he was doing good. Jesus would never be so mean to tell you to pay money <laughs> to go to heaven again. So I really don't know, 310000 that's a lot of money. So this pastor made a lot of calculation, and he understands I if it's you know, the figures class or already. The economy he, he, or he business is. class to get to heaven. Because I don't know how. You need to see where they're camped. Preparation to go to heaven. That's I didn't know going to heaven was actually such a. But, 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 you know, in the long run, we need to do better as a people. It doesn't matter what religion you belong, but that's, there's a Bible. There would be also a Quran. There's a Quran. And so read your Bible, read it for yourself, understand it. When you begin to believe the pastor more than the, the Bible itself, and even more than God, it becomes... Because they don't even understand what it is they are reading. They just follow whatever is being told to them at church services, at fellowships, at, um, uh, you know, wherever they hold these gatherings. They don't even understand the scriptures for themselves. At the end of the day, it is what is being told to them that they just see as the gospel. Well, it's unfortunate, but um, I'm hoping that we can do better uh, as a people and uh, I know that the argument that's been put out is the fact that it has to do a lot with poverty, some people would say. But imagine that you have a daughter who is not even, 
in the country. And some people would say it doesn't even make sense. So even the enlightened, because I remember a time where Ebola was a big thing. I mean, that outbreak of Ebola. People who were professors, you know, medical practitioners, they went on taking salt <laughs> shower and drinking salt water and all of that <laughs> just to cure Ebola. Ignorance. So it just shows I really don't know what Ignorance. it is, but we oh. need to educate ourselves. And if you say you're a Christian or you are a Muslim, then you need to no, read uh, and if, study yeah, the if Quran. You, if you're trying understand. to understand all of that, uh, when they tell them to pay 310,000 there, did they bother to ask uh, what is it for? Is it for food we're going to take? No, to no, heaven? no. It's been is stated it clearly tickets? that they are going to go to heaven. I mean, it's a ticket to be raptured. Now, the reason why they have been relocated, because uh, Adi Abraham made a place, prepared a space for them in where they can stay until rapture actually happens. But this is also another call. As much as we're saying that people should um, be very conscious and people should study their scripture. If you say you're a Christian, whatever religion did you claim, you need to understand the dynamics. You need to follow through and don't allow yourself you know, to Reform anything that's been put out there. But we also want to believe that you know, the government in a kitty state would wave into the situation. I mean, they will step in and begin to act because that is very criminal and it is fraudulent. It is. Uh, it is so so we're, we're hoping that the government already has stepped into it and uh, the, the said pastor would be arrested because you, you never can tell how far this can go. All right. Uh, also joining the race for who want uh, to run uh, for presidency is the governor of Ikiri State, uh, Kayode Faimiya. From what we hear, he has um, declared his intention to run for the 2023 presidency. Masi, you remember we talked about this, that um, uh, over time we would be seeing more people, more names, you know, emerging as a presidential aspirant. And uh, Kayode Faimi is actually one of them. He declared his intention just yesterday? Um, I'm not very sure about whether he's declared intention, but you have some quotas saying that uh, today being the fault, he probably might just declare mm. his intention. Uh, that was more like a consultation. There was consultation when he visited a dose state, Akira Dolu, uh, making all of that conversation. And of course, uh, today, fingers are crossed, he might just join the race. Uh, some people are saying he's joined the race, but there's not been an official statement saying that he has declared his intention. He might join the race. What happened was uh, more of a consultation. And it's just interesting to see that a lot of uh, governors from the APC, I mean, you see a lot of people joining, uh, you know, the race right here, uh, wanting to become president for 2023. But... At the end of the day, it, you know, it lies within the party. It's at the party level Just because the party would have to decide who becomes the flag bearer. And the issue of zoning seems to be on top of, or it's on top of the uh, front burner of the conversation. So uh, the party would decide who becomes the flag bearer. But we really don't know. I, I don't know what's happening. A few days before you have the primaries. Just how many more days before the primaries for the APC? Then you still have, uh, you know, Governor Fiamme intending, has plans, maybe or maybe not, he would declare his intention today and uh, join that uh, presidential. That would mean that he would probably have to buy the phone for 100 million. Just do the, the mathematics yourself. A lot of money is going out. Really, we have so much money in this country. Yes, a lot of money is going out to the parties uh, coffers uh, because at the end of the day if you look at all of the people who have um the uh, who are joining the race uh, it means you just multiply a hundred million by all of um, the number of candidates that they have so it is more money you know for <laughs> the parties anyway that's as much as we can take and talk trending it's still the breakfast on plus tv africa we'll take a quick break and when we return we're going straight to off the press do join us again